Hi, I'm Cheryl Osler, CherylOsler.com, and um, this is day two of my vlogging about my journey with my mom. I couldn't bring myself to do it yesterday because it wasn't a good day. She, um, when I went to see her, the pneumonia would really kicked her, and she, uh, she just felt really bad. You could tell she did. She was coughing and sneezing, and her eyes weeping, and she just felt really bad. And um, I stayed quite a while outside the window and I kept talking to her and I tell her that um, she was going to be okay, that after she kicked this cold, I told her, because I don't want her to know it's pneumonia. Um, I said, after you kick this cold, and I'm sorry it's bad, that you'll go back on weaning to get off the ventilator So it, and then you come home. And she mouths something and I didn't get it. So I said, you have something you want to tell me, Mom? You can say it. And she wouldn't say anything. So then I um, waited a while, and then I brought up coming home again when she gets off the ventilator. And then she mouthed, I can't. And I felt like I'd been kicked in the gut. And I said, don't you tell me you can't. You can. You can do anything you want to do. And no doctor has told us that you cannot. So until somebody does, you can do it. And I don't expect they're going to tell us that. So you can, Mom. You're getting stronger. You were getting stronger. You were getting weaning off of it. And you were doing really well. And then you got sick. I said, so it sets you back a couple days. Big deal. I said, but you're going to be able to do it. You hear me? And I said, don't you give up. I'm not giving up on you. And you can't give up. I'm still fighting battles for you. You have to keep fighting no matter what. You hear me? And she just turned away from me. So um, I stayed another half hour or so and um, kept being positive and telling her everything was going to be all right. And she just, she felt so bad. She'd sneeze or cough and just, I felt so bad for her. And, um, and I kept trying to be real positive. And she finally fell asleep, so I left and came home. And the minute I got in the car to drive home, I started crying and Spent most of last evening and last night crying, not sobbing, terrible tears, but just weeping, just crying. Because it really hurt, really upset me that she thought she can't do it. We've tried to be so positive with her and um, I don't want her to give up. It scares me to death. So anyway, today I went to see her. This I got up earlier because I couldn't sleep. And um, I went and I got there at 11.11. So I thought, well, maybe that's a good sign, but um, you could tell she still didn't feel very good. She still was having trouble. She was coughing. They came and suctioned her trach and she seemed to be a little better, but she just, and they had her kind of at a bad angle. It was hard for me to see her. She was leaning back a, a ways and uh, she just still didn't look like she felt very good. So I just was talking positive and um, one of her favorite um, CNAs, caregivers there, came in and saw me, and she's been gone a week, so, and she loves mom. She calls her her mama, and um, she fixed mom, straightened her a little, and wiped her face for her, and then sat her up more so I could see her better and she could see me better, and um, that seemed to make mom feel better. I don't know what the deal was, but she quit sn uh, sniffing and, or sneezing and coughing um and she just she wasn't crying I wasn't or I wasn't weeping she opened both of them wide she was doing great so I'm really pleased the only thing I noticed was she seemed to be her, her breathing was a little fast not bad just a little faster than usual I thought so I didn't want to leave till I talked to the respiratory therapist or RT for short I'm learning all this and um, so he came in and he said, no, she, they put her back on weeding at seven o'clock this morning on level 16. So she's not at the highest and um, she was doing fine. I mean, the breathing wasn't that fast. And now just a little while ago, we did FaceTime with her, Eric and I, and unfortunately she was asleep, but we could tell she wasn't breathing fast and she looked comfortable. So, and the, the her numbers, the oxygenation was perfect, was a hundred percent. So that's what we care about and uh, so she is weaning again and that's a good thing um, I'm really sorry she doesn't feel good still and um, she did mouth something today 
to me too, and I don't know what it was. Um, and the nurse, Angelina, didn't get it either. But um, I said to her, I didn't get that, Mom, but it better not be I can't because you can. And we've had this discussion. And I'll tell you something, Mom. I firmly believe that God didn't take you when you collapsed at home. And there was a reason. And he wants you still here with us. He knows we, we need you. And I think that's why you're still here. And I think you're going to be here. And I know you're going to get well. I believe that. I believe since God didn't take you at, when you collapsed here at home, he has more pl planned for you. So um, she didn't acknowledge it, but she heard me. So I have to keep believing that. And uh, so that was today's and I'm not crying today. And um, I just appreciate any prayers for her. So thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. And I'll talk to you later this week. Bye.